We had a top camera issue, but it's all fixed now. Thanks everybody for making it. Uh, we are back and live. I'm gonna hit record. Sorry about the hot mic. Thank you for Blondie for pointing that out. All right, cameras are filming. Audio is filming. All right, so welcome and huge shout out obviously to Thermaltake for hooking us up for uh, today's build. It came just in time, which is super awesome. I love it when uh, a good plan comes together. So cue to shout out to Thermaltake. We are building inside of the Series 300 and uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's just go through the parts list real quick and then we'll, we'll go through giveaways and all that sort of stuff. So here's the build we're doing today. This is in the Thermaltake Series 300 case. We got an IMD, AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D, the NZXT B650 N7 in white, uh, Gigabyte Aero NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 in white. So we got another white GPU showing up today. It's white GPU week, apparently. WD Black SN7, uh, sorry, SN850X, actually. Uh, a two terabyte uh, Kingston Fury DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz. Thermaltake Series 300, Thermaltake TH240 ARGB Snow Edition, and then the Thermaltake Tough Power GFA3 850 watt PSU. So we actually have a 16 pin, which is cool. So yeah, it should be a super cool build. Really excited about this. It's got all of those really neat parts. Uh, not a lot of fans to replace or anything like that. So it's it's. It's a great build to replicate. Coming in at 2,200 bucks, it's a, it's a really good 1440p build uh, that should be very easy to build in. We've built in the series before. Um, we could add the uh, LCD panel at the side if we really wanted to. <sighs> Joe, we, had, we could have the, uh, oh yeah, and we got the Myard Media Radiators as well. So congratulations, welcome Myard. I was just talking to Jacob a little earlier today. So we got Meyer Mita here today, but it should be a super fun build and really, really excited to get started here in a minute. Let's talk about giveaways. So uh, we, uh, huge shout out to uh, Viper. Viper's been hanging us out, uh, hanging out with us. And so they have given us a bunch of one terabyte NVMe drives. So if we get to uh, 50 subs, we'll give away a hundred, uh, sorry, one terabyte NVMe SSD. If we get to 150 subs, sorry, 50 subs, we'll give away a one terabyte NVMe. Uh, 100 subs, then we'll give away a two terabyte NVMe. 150 subs, we'll give away a Ryzen 7 7700X. 200 subs, we'll give away a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. So, given the subs, giveaways, some awesome stuff. Uh, if we get 25, uh, if we get a level five hype train, give away a $25 new A gift card. If we get a 25 subs over at kick.com, we'll also give away a $25 new A gift card. So a little bit different now that we just kind of have some hardware sponsorship stuff. So it should be fun. Again, tw uh, 50 subs, 50, uh, 50 subs, a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, we get 100 subs, a two terabyte NVMe SSD from Viper. We get 250, su uh, sorry, 150 subs. We'll give away a Ryzen 7700X. 200 subs will give away a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. So thank you very much, guys. In other words, the more you shoot gift, the better the generosity and the more awesomeness we can, we can continue to do. So it should be fun. And uh, so one, yeah, so that's all the fun stuff there. Also, don't forget all your subs go towards that amazing Spider-Man PC that we're giving away for the month of July and August. If you wanna get in on that, every sub goes towards that. And so you can also win a PC. Uh, Sunday, don't forget to tune in. We're gonna be building a brand new Intel Arc A770 system with their Arc, uh, the new ASRock Arc cards. Um, the cool thing about that is that, the cool thing about that is that we're giving that PC away on stream, no sub goals or anything like that. Should be a lot of fun that's happening on Sunday. So still got some really, really cool stuff going on. That should be really, really fun. Um, trying to think what else. And oh yeah, and 250 likes on the YouTube. 250 likes on YouTube unblocked a $25 new gift card. So many giveaways. So should be a good stream. Should be a lot of fun. Any questions? Did I did I did I make sense? I know it's, I got rattled because of the the screen and all that sort of stuff, and we had to go get the part. So I'm just making sure I'm I'm trying to get us started uh, on things like that. So how is everybody doing? You guys ready to see some PC building? I think that's what people are saying. Roby. Time to PC build, that's what they're saying. Let me make sure my fan's on and then we'll get going. What's up CT, how are you man? Now things are flowing in the right direction. All right, cool. Oh yes, and then also for Discord subs, you're talking about the, you're talking about the commission, the commission perk, is that what you're talking about Blondie? 
build it, they will come. Thank you. Yeah. And then if you are a Discord Sub Club member, a couple things. One, we're going to be giving away some new, some old hardware to Discord Sub Club members. If you head over to discord.gg slash Robitech, we got the uh, first one will be a uh, white uh, 3060 that we have. So we have a bunch, it's one of our ways of saying thank you and giving you guys some really, really cool, but you know, like pr previously last gen hardware. Um, we're also uh, Discord Sub Clubs uh, and Twitch subs get a reduction in the overall cost of of your uh, commission build. So if you want me to do a commission, it's only 10%. Um, and then last thing that is also a super bonus as well um, is you get, um, oh, sorry, that's all, yeah. Yeah, that's for Discord and Twitch subs. Um, and then, and kick subs, um, is you get a, a reduction in the overall commission cost. Um, and then also we have that cool, we have exclusive um, giveaways from the Intel Creator Challenge, uh, things like special edition chippies and stuff like that, that we're gonna be giving away to the Discord sub club as well. So should be cool as well. Will the LCD, will the series also have the LCD display? We can put it on. I actually have one. Um, I don't know if Thermaltake mic is here. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, we gotta do, I can't, I, the, the challenge, she can extend it by one more. How close are we? I don't know how close we are. Um, I do have it, we can see if it fits, because I do actually have the white, the white LCD if we wanna put it in here. So anyway, that's it, and that's, that, I think that's everything, and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and start building, though. I'm actually really excited about this. I think I'm gonna top mount the, uh, I think I'm gonna top mount the AIO and go from there. 30 minutes, yeah, I, uh, we're gonna, we're only gonna extend it till the end of August, guys. The whole thing is, is it's supposed to be a challenge. I guess we can just make it last forever. I don't know. I'd love to know what people think because I know they want to do it, but we're, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a challenge, right? We're supposed to use the parts, use the points. Oh okay. yeah, let's get our motherboard. Mobo time, first one of the coolest and cleanest looking Mobos on the planet, I'll be honest. This is the NZXT N7B650. I really like these boards and they're always cool. I always lose the votes, Najia says. <laughs> well, we're on our way to all of the giveaways so far. Always got to get it started right. Okay, we'll leave this just kind of sitting in there because put the extra stuff that we can put in here in here. The Gia's got the worst luck. You should not go to uh, you should not go to Vegas then, the Gia. I think that's what you're saying. Okay, so we do not have to worry about our uh, we don't have to worry about our uh, pop here. It doesn't really, doesn't really worry about that here. Yeah, it's a nice, this MOBO is super nice looking. Does that look, oh, that's just the way, huh. It just looks super. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, and I didn't, we'll, we'll, let's, worry, let's extend it for 45 more days because I didn't stream enough last, uh, the last one. Yeah, the Gigabyte Aero boards are nice too, for sure. Some of that's my fault. I didn't give you guys enough chances to get to get points and all that sort of stuff. Well, then just do 30 and then we'll do 15 more. How are our mired people today? Mired media people. Yeah, that we have it's in a YouTube video, you can see it there. Yeah, but we're not gonna we're trying very hard not to cancel streams anymore. Some of it has just been because of canceled streams. Like today, if, if the parts wouldn't have showed up, we would have gone ahead and done a uh, keyboard build. 
Okay, that's that. Let's put in our RAM and uh, we'll do, let's do RAM clicks at 97. Let's do 97 today. I feel like this one has good clicks, but we'll find out. Uh, Sergeant Novi, yeah, it, their stuff is good. Now your stuff was delayed by like a day, right? Keep forgetting about this uh, this spot. I'm working on it, Org. I am gonna work on it. I'm gonna see if uh, we can uh, do something specific. I do have I do have Starfield cards coming to be given away. Um, a to be determined, but it's not. It's more than one. Baba Ganoush. God, I love that Baba Ganoush comes in here. Baba Ganoush. Let me just say how much I appreciate you. I just like saying Baba Ganoush. And it means a lot that you come in here so often and let me say it. <clears throat> there we go. We want to give away those. We want to give away those. Uh, I want to give away those drives though. So come on, help me guys. You got to help me get those drives away. You got to drop those subs so we can give drives away and other hardware. Okay, first that is in there. Cool. I'm gonna refresh this really quick. Okay, we're gonna get our things out. I love the beautiful white RAM. Yeah, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of rumors for what's coming at Gamescom. We'll have to see what happens. We will know more when they show up. Okay. Get our clicker out. Okay, we said 97. Let's see what happens. How good is the clicks on this board? Ninety-nine point five. It like crushed, like no problem. Like it was like, yeah, thank you very much. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. We're done. Wow. 99.9 .9 on that one. Dude, that was like, that was like crazy. Like both of them were like 99. It was like a solid, both of them went. Holy moly guys, that was, uh, that was some good clicks right there. Um, it's AMD, let's see what the thermal take mounting mechanism is for thermal take. It's, uh, we'll have to see. I'm actually pretty excited about this AIO. There it is right there, and we have our... Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. And on that show, he builds PCs. A-I-A-I-O. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, <coughs> and Bondi Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. <coughs> wow. <coughs> it did not want me to <coughs> sing. <coughs> it did not want me to sing to that song, guys. Oh, sorry, it's Hero Heat. <laughs> oh man, that was brutal. <laughs> Ow. Uh. I wanted to sing to my beautiful song and I was failed, it failed me. My voice failed me. <clears throat> oh really, guy? Okay, so let's see what we got for AM4. What is their AM4 guide? <clears throat> okay, so they use the standard mount, so I don't even have to change anything. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. This is going to be easy then. Let's get this inside the board. I request a stretch already? Wow.
I guess we will see. It's not that far away. It's only like, what, a couple weeks? It's not far at all. Okay, let's do a stretch. Is that good? Was that a good stretch? I was doing yoga stretches. Is that good? Oh, I just had to click it in. Thank you for finding that. <laughs> okay, let's get our case ready. It's a small case. So we got we got lots of room on the on the uh, got lots of room on the desk for it. There it is. Start with the front. There we go. And then we got to do the inner peel. It starts the clearing. Do I seem clearer? Do I seem clearer now, guys? Ugh. Okay. Ooh, this is like zip tied in. <clears throat> I will cut it. This does not count towards zip tie count. Oh, that reminds me, we can start zip tie count. So here we go, pause this one. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even stars, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Okay guys, so you can get your zip tie counts in right now. That is up for grabs. Again, trying to unlock that those 3 million points so we can give away a 7,700X. People are saying odd. People are already calling out their predictions. Oh, this has got three. It looks like we actually can do the, we'll try it. It looks like you can do the, the therm, the, the uh, temperature, what does this go to? This is, there's like an extra, I wonder what that goes to. Huh. Okay, it looks like we can, let's, you guys want me to put the, uh, you guys want me to put the, want me to see if I can put the screen in? Let's put the MOBO in real quick and then we'll put the screen in. Well, I gotta figure out where that goes. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, yes, I do have Hogwarts on here already for Abbott. Everybody's saying, yes, put the screen in, Roby. Why is this even a question? Why are you a terrible human? I'm like, wow, so brutal. Okay, let's put, let's put this down. Top down, and then we'll get the we'll get the screen installed for sure. <clears throat> this is my first time building in the series 300. I've done the series 500, but it looks like we got a lot of room at the top. There we go. It's gonna look good in there, guys. <clears throat> so I don't I don't expect it to be a whole lot different than the series 500. So just smaller, more petite, but we'll see how airflow and everything is. Whoa, look at that. Lots of uh, lots of zip ties. Thank you very much. Fine folks over at Thermal Take for all the zip ties. It's a very kind use thing, very kind thing for you to give me. It's like, it's almost like Christmas when I open them. It's like, look at all the zip ties. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, giveaway today, so far, we haven't unlocked any of them, but there will be, we always do. It'll be at least be a $25 new gift card. So it looks like we can make this a little bit longer. Okay, that's cool. We'll figure that out. They give, they're one of the few people who gives us a PC speaker. 
that's nice. And then all of their screws are in one bag. You can get you get extra screwed in this build. BMO Drizzy, uh, the only thing I can do is have you try and win the giveaways that we do all the time, man. We don't give PCs away, dude. Uh, we give them away on streams and that's it. I don't just donate to people. That would be like, if I did that for every person, it'd be crazy. We got a dad joke from Zero Heat, so calling it out. Now, another Roby Tech. Once I get the, uh, once I get the MOBO out. screwed in, I'll uh, hook it up. <clears throat> BMO, there's a, one, a giveaway on Sunday. There's a, there's a giveaway on Sunday that you want to tune in for. There's actually, we're giving away three PCs next week alone. Almost every stream has a PC giveaway. There we go. Oh, I love it, I love it. I'm the tech Oprah, that's right. You get a PC and you get a PC. <laughs> how could that how could that be wrong, right? Okay, getting that in. I'm hoping where a rumor is that well hopefully, I mean I was it's funny because I was uh, hanging out with Aru, went and jumped into her stream yesterday. Hopefully we'll be doing a build with Aru here pretty soon. I like doing build with influencers. It's huge and I'm quite satisfied. Yeah, Vanessa, we did the series, I did a series 500 build um, when it first came out. And so I agree, it is huge. You can do a 420 millimeter AIO in it, which is always, I mean, how is that ever a bad thing? Especially if you're gonna do like an Intel or 7950X build. Um, so I appreciate the size, um, especially being able to, and I have a white 420. I'm probably gonna revisit that case at one point in time. Um, I just don't know when it is. Yeah, the NZXT MOBOs are not, um, the, NZ, the NZXT MOBOs are really nice. Um, the only thing is, is they're pricey. Um, but I love all the shielding and stuff. They are ASRock boards, so they do it in partnership with ASRock. Um, and then the only thing that's kind of a problem is just the fact that you have to go on their site and download all of their stuff separately, like old school. The one thing I like about like MSI and everybody else is that they have like uh, like apps that you can update all your drivers and stuff for. So it's a little bit of a, like a, a pain in the butt, but I guess it's a small price to pay, but it is still a price you have to pay. Okay, there we go. There is that. So you guys want me to install? You guys want me to do the? Uh, you guys want me to do the screen, huh? I will do it because, because I love you guys, and I will always love you. You like that? Do you like that song? Yeah. Or it's like the thing is, is that I always do it after I've done all my installations. And it still does a better job of updating with firmware and stuff than anything else. So it's like a once in a month kind of thing. <clears throat> okay, dad joke, Zero Heat's reminding me. He's like, hey, I paid good points for dad jokes, Roby. Good points for dad jokes. <clears throat> Here we go. Good points for dad jokes. Hey. Okay, right, here we go. Good points for dad jokes. Did you hear me, Roby? Dad jokes. Here we go. Um. Okay, I like this one. Picked up a hitchhiker last night. He asked, how do you know I'm not a serial killer? I replied, 
The chances of two serial killers in one car is sensational. <laughs> I like that one a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <clears throat> Dude, that's how that's how you that's how you get them right there. You're like, how do you know I'm not a serial killer? Because the job. <laughs> that's I like that. That was that was that was pithy. That was pithy. Okay, let me grab the uh, let me grab our uh, our screen that you guys have demanded so heavily. You're like, Roby, give me the screen. Give me the screen, Roby. <clears throat> we demand a sacrifice. Okay, we demand a sacrifice, he says. Okay, first thing we gotta do is take out, let's go to top down. I want you guys to be able to see this, so, okay, here we go. So first thing we're gonna do is there's two screws at the top here. I think this fits, we're gonna try. Cause this says for the series 500, I don't know if they're the same, so I have to see. I have the series 500 one. I don't know if the series 300 one also fits. We will try it right now. If it does not fit, I apologize profusely for my failure. Okay, so we're taking that off. This looks way bigger, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if this fits. Oh, 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 it does. Look at that. Look at that magic, guys. It does, it doeseth, fitteth in the build. I'm gonna have to download whatever the app is for this, but yeah. Yes, no sledgehammer was used. No sledgehammer was used in this build that we know of. It's still early. Uh, it came with black screws, but there is it is more black and white than silver and white. So, like, if you get like the the real snow editions of stuff, then sometimes that'll make a difference. Um, but this one is black and white. Okay, let me take this off real quick. We're going to put the plug in. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, that's in. Okay, so we've got our white, we've got our screen in already. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because this is cool. It makes it easier for me to cable manage my, my, uh, actually no it doesn't, that's fine. I guess you could put another screen in there if you wanted to. Okay, cool, there you go, screen is in. Now you guys cannot get mad at me because I've done my job. I have, I have paid tribute like I said I was going to. Ugh. Oopsie. Okay, let's put this away. You guys can no longer say, Roby, we demand tribute. I've paid said tribute. All right, let's turn this over and let's route our, our cables and then we'll go from there.
You guys were, like, you were, I'm just saying, you can't ask me to give a sacrifice anymore. Okay, so, uh, Thermal Take, can we, uh, can we have a conversation about the fact that new cases should not come with all these connectors? Let's just, can we just pay the extra three cents and not have to deal with uh, 50 gajillion plugs? Just one front panel plug at this point in time, guys. Come on. We can do us all a nice favor and do that. I like this because this has got the side ones here. I will say I like this too, very small ribbon uh, USB-C cable. That's nice. That's gonna be easier to, to cable manage. This goes down here, there we go. It's gonna take this, this is our USB for our There's that. Now, we got these, which actually the thing is these are very well kept. And they're all cable combed. That's very nice. They did a good job with these. Okay, why are there They're not daisy chain. Are they they sh yeah, they they daisy chain together. Okay. Why is there Three. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I have extra, this is RGB, and this is, oh, that's if I want to add another fan, okay. <clears throat> yeah, NZXT uses them. I think, I think Fantex uses them now too, <coughs> where you have just the block, which is nice. Okay. And then this one needs one too. Okay, let's run this for the exhaust fan. Okay, so, so, we now have a, wow, that's, oh, I was like, that's not very long at all, but then I realized, oh, no, it's, it's long, it's just not. There we go. We'll figure out where this stuff plugs up here in a minute. Flip this over and hook up all of our cables real quick. All right, here we go. Let's get these plugged in first. Okay, I'm gonna move, okay, this goes right here, which is nice. Which direction is the question? Nice, okay, that's an easy hide. I like it, okay. This, I'm very happy about because we have two places, so we're just gonna rub this right here. Rubbing is racing, we're gonna rub and race right here. Be careful here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, front panel connector is always fun here. Hey, what's up, crazy gamer? What's up? I like your uh, I like your name. Are you the only one who's got crazy gamer? You think? Well, this one's got all of them, dude.
Yeah, we're giving away Gen 4 NVMe drives, guys. Sorry, you guys will not be able to see through my massive head. Not that I do not love you guys. I want to show you all of the, I want to show you the all of the stuff, but I have to be able to see it myself. I do not have telepathy to put this stuff in. Okay, there we go. Okay, front panels in. Kind of a paint, okay, good. I can make that smaller. Okay, USB. Oh, I'm gonna run this over to the other side then. That'll be hidden. Be a little easier if it's over. This is why we do this, is because sometimes we have to look down and figure out. Okay, there's HD audio. Okay, so we can run all of our fans here. RGB. We have two down here. It was they're down there. They're way down there. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's our so far. We're gonna have to run a couple more cables. So fans are gonna go to the center here. Now one thing I can do, which is actually kind of cool. So this is gonna go over here, like this, and this is gonna go right here, like that, and this is gonna plug into this, so we can just have it plugged in. No need to plug them both in. Mm, yeah, because they're, well, actually one's PWM and one's not, so let's not do that. So plug both of these in, and then our RGB, it goes all the way down in here. Okay, and then we'll work on cable managing because right now it's kind of a mess. You got to you got to admit it's kind of a mess right now. A mess. Everybody say, Roby, it's a mess. I know. I'm gonna fix it. Oh my gosh, dude, what is up with this this grippy thing? It feels like this should clip into something, but it's not. Oh, okay, it's not quite. Oh, that's not all the way in. Okay. It's a hot mess. That's right, it's a hot mess right now. We're gonna fix it. Wow, it's even worse of a hot mess now. Okay, here we go. So we'll make sure this is not underneath this. All this hot mess, so much hot messiness right now. Okay. Now we gotta make it look pretty after this. This is always like the, the calm before the storm. Music playing, did it just stop? Uh, what just happened? Blondie lied to you guys. Just let it be known. Blondie lied. She told you where it's going to extend it, but she lied. The music stopped. What's going on here? Blondie's fault. Remember, it wasn't me. Okay, there we go. All of our stuff is now in. Now let's make this look better. Ugh. Guys, oh wait, I forgot about this. This goes over here too. We'll worry about that here in a minute. Okay, now let's let's deal with this nightmare. Let's deal with this nightmare right now. This is a, it's a nightmare. Okay, what we work on right now is we're just literally going to untwisty tie stuff and get it kind of back the way we need it to be. 
I feel like that's okay. Okay, this can go up and over. Now this needs to go one way. Could, actually it feels like this would going through this middle would make the most sense so we'll just do this and run it the right way Okay, that's gonna go up here. This is gonna go up here. And up and in here. <clears throat> A little bit of time as we deal with this right now. How we doing likes on YouTube while we're going through this, guys? 69, let's get it, let's keep going, let's keep crushing it. Keep America strong. Not that this has anything to do with America, but we like to pretend. Okay, let's, uh, let's start zip tying this bad boy together. What's up, Pocket Dermer, how are you, man? In the middle of getting a clean, cleaning up our little mess here. Making sure this baby looks clean. Twist this back around here. No way, it's just bent this way. That's unfortunate. Wasted one zip tie already, but it was for the right reasons. Okay. And for the people, <clears throat> for people who don't know what parts we're putting inside of this, here is the build we're doing again. We're doing the Ryzen 7 70, Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. We're doing a NZXT B650 N7 white is the bill, as uh, the CP, is the uh, motherboard. For the uh, GPU, we're using the Gigabyte Aero NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070, also in white. So again, an Arctic build here uh, going on with this whole thing. Uh, we have uh, WD Black, it's an SN850X actually, not a, 770, so it's an SN850X for the motherboard. I mean, sorry, for the uh, NVMe. Kingston Fury DDR5, 6,000 megahertz Expo RAM in white for our memory. For our case, we're using the Thermaltake Series 300. Um, brand new, uh, newish case from Thermaltake. Uh, we've done a build here on the channel with the Series 500, but this one will be going in here. Uh, we have the Thermaltake TH240 ARGB Snow Edition, and then we've got the Tough Power GF A3 850 watt PCI 5 uh, uh, PSU. So nice solid PSU, and we have some beautiful extension cables from Easy DIY and also from um, Asia Horse that'll also go in there too. Okay, guys, we're just at this point in time. I'm just working on cleaning up our mess here, so it just looks a little bit cleaner that's important. Depending on the poles, the zip tie does or doesn't count. It does. That zip tie, if I used it, it goes. Even if it's not in the build anymore, if I use the zip tie, it counts. So that is technically the first zip tie that we had, even though it got wasted. Uh, I have no problem with Dominator. The problem is I don't, I have a tendency not to use Com, uh, Corsair RAM unless I'm using other Corsair components. Um, main reason just being is that it's just the ecosystem. I, it's like ecosystem, limiting the number of ecosystems we have in a build. 
is always a good idea so you don't have a lot of resident programs. Hey, Darren, hello from, hello, hello. Hi from the UK, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming and tuning in, young man. Appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great day and you just enjoy, enjoy the build from the UK. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, yeah, Thermaltake does sell RAM, but they decided not to send me RAM. I think, you know what, actually, I might have Thermaltake RAM. Now that I think about it, I actually do have Thermaltake. I probably have white DDR5 RAM. I'm a terrible human being for not using Thermaltake RAM. But I chose Kingston because that's what I chose. Don't be mad, Mike, if you're here. But yes, they do, they do sell RAM. Uh, Darren, the build tonight is a Series 300 all snow white build. It's the all white build, so we're working on that right now. Getting, getting the initial cable management cleaned up here. No, yeah, I can't. I can't actually. My my daughter can do a really good, like really solid Australian accent. Like like she went to Australia and people were like, "Geez, you're good, girl." And I was like, "Dang, girl, dang, Gina." But I cannot do a very good Australian accent. I can do a British and I can do some others, but Australian is not one of my my gifts of gab, unfortunately. Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. Oh, I just realized I should probably run that other one up. This goes up over there. Uh, DJE, it just really depends. If you're 4K gaming, I would say absolutely it's worth buying that because for 4K, it's a phenomenal card. I think jumping from a 3090 to a 4090 and you're doing like 1440p or 1080p would be kind of a waste of money. I'm sorry, it didn't sound British. It didn't sound British at all. I think it sounded very British. I think you don't know British. So please, let me just sit here and build. Build very nicely. I'm just gonna keep building and you leave me alone, okay? Okay, Sergeant Nobody? I wanna build this way. <laughs> Is that better? <clears throat> um, does a Ryzen 7 and a 4070 go good for it? Yes, those are great. That's a great that you can do also 14 uh, 10, 1440p, but for 1080p that's a that's a it's a little bit of overkill actually, um, but it just means you're gonna it's gonna last longer, and that's that's a that's a up to you kind of thing. Okay, so what I'm doing here now is I'm going to create our little. Uh, the, the series is a little bit more blocky than the Fantex one, in my, in my humble opinion. But, uh, yeah, I don't really, because we're going to be building in the Fantex on Sunday. So if you want to see the, the Fantex, like, G360 and stuff like that, you can come check that out on Sunday. It's a, I, I feel like it's pretty different, but, um, you know, again, that, that's a very personal thing. Yeah, that's not a CPU. This is, a, I, my daughter's just so much better. There's a lot, there's, there's an intonation that I haven't mastered for Australian. If I practiced it, I could. I actually do, pre, I think I do pretty well with voices and, uh, and uh, accents. So we keep, uh, I am Chef Robert Pesce. Here we are. We are going to be doing a build today. Today's build 
is the uh, Series 500. Uh, we are going to be doing it with a little bit of pinache, uh, just to make sure that the build looks si magnificent. Uh, magnificent. Uh, as you can see, I am working right now on the cable management, just to make the build look so, so, pete, so perfect. And that is very important to me. Um, <coughs> Uh, so that is why I do what it is. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tazern? It's nice to see you. That looks really good, actually. Okay, so let's run this up and through, and then I'll re I'll redo the cable management for these. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. We can come up with good hardware specific rhyming cockney rhymes and we'd be the only one to know. <laughs> I don't know, Tommy. I don't much care for the color. Okay, there we go. It's looking good, looking looking solid. Looking, uh, that, that'll hide a good number of it here. So this is all we got left is just this one little cable. Remember the mess that was here? Remember the mess that I made, but now the mess is gone. Uh, everything is plugged in, yes. Uh, no, no, well, I mean like the first round of everything. I haven't, there's a couple things I have not plugged in yet. I'm working on one right here. This is for our, if I could spend time in a bottle, Spend all my timing with you. Yeah, Org is right. From a from a from a performance standpoint, um, there's like a lot of it is you're buying the GPU for the looks, but the the performance differences are pretty negligible. Um, I haven't got to build in it. It's supposed to be on the way. We're supposed to have Asus week, not next week, but the week after. So the AP201, I'll finally get to build in it. So I'm getting the AP201, the um, Hyperion in white. Um, and then uh, I think I'm also getting the GT301 from them. So I have three cases coming and some MOBO. So we'll have like a, we'll have an Asus week here pretty soon where we'll get to, I'll, I'll finally get a build in that case. I've been asking them for that case for a while. So uh, hopefully soon, I will follow up with Kat. Um, I will follow up with Kat to get the info. Now, when we do a build here on the show, like what we're gonna do today, don't get me wrong, we don't just build in it. We've got, we'll fully benchmark it, run, the, run all the thermals and all that stuff today. So, so you, when we're done with this build, um, we, you will know how it thermally performs and all that stuff. So we try to make sure that you guys walk away knowing here. Hey, Riddick, dropping 10 gifted subs in. I'm here. What's up, Roby? Uh, I, I'm building in a Vitru case that's coming. I have a Vitru case coming. We have some unannounced cases coming. So those are coming up as well. So we got lots of, lots of stuff coming up guys. So new cases from a bunch of different manufacturers. It's coming up on a holiday time. So it's always, this is always a fun time. For builds. Yeah, that takes care of our, this takes care of our rear fan as well. There we go. There's our nice spine.
There we go, guys. And I've already used, I've already clipped this one, so I can't, I can't count that one. That would be a double. Nobody would ever get mad. Like, Roby, you're counting double. Okay, let's get that down. Thank you very much, guys. We could, if we wanted to start a hype train to unlock another giveaway, now would be the time to do it because Riddick basically got it to jump. So if we just want to have a couple other people throw some, throw some, uh, throw some giveaway, some, some stuff at this, it would be, this would be it. This would be the time to do it because it, it's a lower barrier to entry to get that level five. Okay, we're gonna put this right here. And then all of our initial cables will be plugged in and then we'll be working on our AIO. AIAIO. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And this has, the other thing I love about this board is it actually has three USB. So you don't have to worry about splitters as much. So again, just showing you here, we have three USB ports down here at the bottom. So HD audio, RGB, one, two, three, USB, of course, one right now, which is just for our screen. Uh, two uh, fan headers, which is our rear and our front fans. We have our front panel connections. Here's our USB 3.2 and our USB-C. So all of our front panel cables are now hooked up. And now all we gotta do is just clean up our little mess here. What I'm going to do for that is I'll probably just run it along the edge here. And then we'll have it basically just be down. Um, we should actually, yeah, we'll have to figure that out. I mean, well, uh, like, I do know we have a little bit of thickness, but we got quite a bit of room. I could run it down on top of. It looks like it'd be okay. such a good answer. Everybody give Riddick like the best answer right there. Riddick, that was good. That was a good answer, Riddick. That was like the heart answer right there. Okay, builds all put together. All of our initial cable management is done. I'm gonna take this out because it's annoying. Okay guys, how's it looking? It looks nice and clean so far, right? Very clean on the front and in the back. Let's go ahead and get our AIO installed. Assuming this looks like it just pops off here. Boom. So now we have our AIO time. So we're gonna do a 240 in the front here. Let's grab our 240 AIO. The Sink Snow Edition. It's gonna have a lot of pretty RGB guys.
Well, you will get to see it in just a minute. That's what I'm working on right now. Oh, it looks like I need to, it looks like I'm gonna have to, uh, have to thermal paste our rising up. This is the one thing about thermal take fans is they have like the biggest like cable bunches. This is so, like the cables are so, they're so big and so long. It's like, you will not have a lack of cables, Roby. We should, we that here in a minute. Put this off to the side for now. do the we'll have it go this way so we'll want fans to go this way okay there's our fans Move these up and in here. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, they're they are thick cables. I guess the one thing that you do not have to worry about here is if you can uh, if you, you will not have to worry about being able to. Uh, Okay, I'm just gonna switch this out. Making sure you have enough cable room, cable length. Just gonna put these on in preparation. go. It's like the most interesting bracket. Like not every, but not many people use this anymore. Oh yeah, takes care of that. What I was looking for right here. go. Wow, this is like, okay, so these are daisy chainable. No, nope, they're, they're daisy chainable RGB. We do have silver screws for that. Okay, there's that. Okay, time for the wow stick, guys. Wow stick time. There we go. Yes, the sticker is still on the cold plate right now. I am remembering, but it is there right now. 
I'll take it off when I basically have all the fans and stuff on. Thank you for reminding me. The Owen Wilson stick, I like it. Hold on one second, guys, one second. Sorry about that, guys. We sometimes I didn't know. I, sometimes I think it's my wife getting call, and it was not. It was UPS about damaged systems. So apologies, Sergeant. Nobody giving ten gifted subs. Whoa! Thank you very much, dude. Hey, what's up, Domin? How are uh, Tommen? Tom, I, you know what? I just forgot how to say it again. Is it Tommen? I don't like that your name is not spelled. I do. Is it Tom? I am saying it right, right? Okay, so we got everything here. So we need to get this one down to a single two pin. He's a he's the silent eight man. Tommen, Tom, Tommen. That's what I said. Tommen. I said it right, right? Tommen? I don't remember why he keeps, yeah, I remember having this whole conversation, but now every time I see his name, every time I see his name, I panic. Because I'm like, uh. Um, the new build mat will be uh, coming out for holiday. So soon. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hide all the, uh, these cables. I remember his old name too, and then he changed it. This one may not be as high. I don't know if this is going to fit. We'll have to see. I might have made him mad because he's not responding. <laughs> What's up, Beyond Sense? I like that name. That's a good name. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if this will fit behind all the other cables. Guys, we have 20 subs. That could have been a level five if we just wanna get somebody else. Uh, Sergeant, thank you very much for the subs though, dude. 
It's a huge thank you. Can that, can you do that all white build? Yeah, no, I can't shrink it. I can't shrink it, Kelt. Everybody Falcon Northwest chilling in YouTube right now. Hey, uh, the, uh, so, um, the Kelt, it's awesome that you're here. Uh, I heard that the 7900, the standard 7900 XTX, does that really have issues going in the Tiki? Somebody had told me, uh, somebody, uh, I think Ray had told me it does. The, the like Founders Edition standard one, does it not fit in a, does it fit in a Tiki? I thought I had lots of room, right? But no. Just need a consistent MBA board. Okay, so if we were, <laughs> and he's, if we were to cut a hole to make a window in the Tiki so you could see the new Starfield GPU, we could do that. Because we're like, we're. Because we want to modify it. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, so it's it would be a it's the it's the Starfield GPU we want to put in it, but we want to be able to see it. So we we Ron and I have been talking, and I was like, oh well, I'll just ask Kelt. Get the twenty decawatt laser. Yeah, so you, basically because you're your yeah because your system is like the bee's knees in terms of strength i think this is going to be able to run through so if i go like this well we're not gonna blow a hole in it we want it to look nice but uh uh, Ron and I were talking about it and we want to put we want to make it so you can see the GPU through the you know, via like a glass and then add to the aesthetic of it yeah it's got a lot of cable I mean I'm gonna hide it here on the side this one I don't think I'm gonna be able to hide because this these have to uh, these have to uh, daisy chain into this So this goes into here like this, and I'll probably just daisy chain this on the other side. Okay, let's see if this works, guys. Uh, this may be too thick. Oh, that's awesome, Gus. That's amazing. I'll call you about it and we'll chat it through, but uh, he's sending me a number of the cards and one of them I actually get to put in your build. Because, and there, I was like, if I want to, and I was like, I want to, because it's, right, it's the right one to put it in. I know, I, I haven't got to watch the, I haven't got to watch the, um, the video yet. Um, I know you sent it to me, I just haven't had a chance to watch it yet. And then we just, we're handing off your, your, the other one that you just gave us is going into it so we can do both of them in the review. And then Damien is writing the review as soon as that's done. Okay, so this can go right here. This should be, actually, it looks like it's gonna be fine, guys. Looks like I can hide all the cable up there. Wow, that looks, that works great. And all sorts of room, okay. You can't see any of that cable. That's cable I don't have to worry about on the other side. Well, 
Well, that's what we want. We want the build to look clean. Come on. Oh, that is some, that's some nice tooling on the screws. That was a smooth, I like smooth when screws just go in nicely. Look at that. Okay. We got one little cable. I might zip tie this a little bit up just to keep that in. But yeah, you can't see it. And it looks all clean. I like clean. We might have to, actually we might want to push this over a bit. Let's see how that looks when we do the cable here. Well, that's really, might want to pull it more left. More left. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go full left. Oh shoot, where'd that go? Didn't you think that would fall through, but it did. Okay, good. Whoa. First one's always the hardest to get in here, guys. Come on. There we go. Okay, one in. Okay. I gotta find that other screw I dropped. I should have linus that screw. All right, there we go. Okay. Where'd that other screw go? Can't really go many places. We'll find it. Yes, AIOs do come in various sizes. Uh, 120, 240, 360, uh, 420, and now there are even, I heard there's even 480s coming out. We'll find it, don't worry. Man, that is some nice tooling. It just like, just goes in like butter. The question is what happened to the screw? And I still have this, I still have the plate on. Wait, oh, it's up here. Okay, we'll have to get that out. <laughs> All right, let's take this off. I'm remembering to remove the cold plate sticker because I've done that too many times. I did not forget this time. I found it. I found the screw. Okay, there we go. Top down. This is a this is turning out to be quite the pretty build, guys. Quite the pretty build.
Everybody likes pretty builds. Uh, Wiz042, absolutely. So upcoming reviews, uh, just so you guys know, uh, we have some unannounced stuff, right, that's not out yet. Uh, we have the um, Falcon, uh, the Falcon Northwest Tiki, both the Intel and AMD version. We have the Falcon uh, DRX laptop. We have the Alienware M18, the Alienware M16, the Alienware M15. Uh, we've got the ROG Ally review coming out, uh, the, the after six months one. Um, and then we also have the best AIO, the best air cooler, and uh, we have an AIO one. And then we have some reviews for some unannounced AIO uh, videos coming out too. Neomad, come out. Thank you very much. So yes, and the Framework 16, when it comes out, we will absolutely do a review on that. So. Though all of those reviews I mentioned, most of them are in writing now. Because all the tech stuff is done. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Because remember, that unlocks a giveaway. One oh six, guys. We still got to get to two fifty. There's three hundred and eleven people here already. And okay, there we go. That build is this build is ready for the next installment here. Okay, the cold plate is clear. I wonder what the right, the right way to run this would be. I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. There we go. I guess it could have gone. Oh, these actually might be small enough. I can run them on under the on their own, huh? I might be able to run this on its own. It feels like you could run it around the coal plate and then up. Definitely enough room under there. Okay, cool.
Let's see what I can do here. Hmm. White zip ties would be ideal right now if I had some. Just to get this, I'm just trying to get this hidden. I don't know, I could use, I think I'm clear actually. It would look good. I don't know what I can do here to try and get this cleaner. I wonder if I can run, I might be able to, if I do this, run it underneath the latch. And that'll hold it maybe. I got a little bit of room under here. Hold on. I'm just trying to get this super clean, guys. I'm trying to find the best way to clean this up. So it looks as clean as it can. There's a little bit of self-discovery here as we figure this out here. Good. I have an idea. There we go, that holds it. Okay, cool. There we go. I like the way that looks. Did you figure it out? But you got it booting in the ring? Oh, okay, cool. What was the problem? Uh, Everything was fine? Yeah, fine. Annoying. Uh, cool. Right. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Probably. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I know. That's why I chose that particular one. Thank you for doing that. Okay, cool. I'll come look at it. Okay, what I'm working on right now, guys. Um, what was my all-time favorite review? Ooh, that's a good question. I have to really think about that. I will say, and it doesn't happen very often, the ones that, usually the ones that are most fun to write are the ones that are bad um, because um, <laughs> because uh, they <laughs> just for the simple fact that they have a tendency to be they were they were just like so like the it takes a lot for me to write a bad review I mean that's not to say that I'm not going to be not fair you know what I mean in some way but like when like some like I try to find a silver lining. But there was one where I was just like, what is, like, there was one case, it was a Montec case. Um, and I, we've reviewed good Montec cases too, but there was a Montec case. I was like, what in the heck did, like, I was curious if they'd even ever built in it. And it was a lot of fun to write because it was just like, it was just, there was just a lot wrong with it. So it was fun to be humorous as to why it was so bad. Does it not, does it look like that cold plate is, oh, there we go. Okay. All right, cool. So that one was a uh, that one was a lot of fun to write. Okay, so now we got to figure out. Now we have this. I mean, this is the thing I'm talking about, dude. It's like it's like, geez, that's a lot of cables, guys. I mean, I guess it makes it really easy to be able to do like very complicated water cooling builds, but it's a lot to cable manage. Okay, so these are all daisy chain now. Now I just gotta figure out how this whole thing plugs in. And I was trying, I, guys, I was not trying to be mean to that case, like in any way, shape or form. Okay, so there you go. So this is, this is the, they have one cable that allows me to plug it into the... Thank you for that, AI. Thank you very much for that thermal take. Thermal take gives you the cable you need to plug it into the... Uh... So you do not need to use their box if you don't want to. We're at the end of the longest part of the build right now, guys. The uh, the AIO is always like the longest one. Okay, so here is the cable that goes into this. Whoa. Okay, here's the cable that goes into this. So that plugs in and now all of our RGB is ready. But I have like all of these cables that now need to be managed. Now, we might, this might actually work okay. I'm trying to figure it out here. I mean, like, geez, this is like enough for like three builds. So I'm going to hold this plug this in
Okay. Now, I can make this straight. Go to top down. Hey, Jack Bauer, thank you very much for the uh, for the sub. We're just basically working on getting this done. How are we doing on likes on YouTube, guys? There we go. on right now is just getting getting this one kind of spine done here and it'll it'll look good it'll just be thick but it'll be clean which is what we ultimately won. On one sec, guys. Okay, here we go. Last little bit here. Guys, then we're on to the fun stuff. Do one more right there. It's a nice clean spine at least. There we go, guys. What do you think? That looks nice. That's uh, that's pretty clean. One thirty-seven to two fifty, guys. Come on, let's get the let's get those likes, those likes for the YouTube done. With, the, with, the zip tie, with those zip tie points on the front of the case, front side of the case, with the one right above the PSU shroud, I would have rerouted the cables around to severely cut down on the big cable bundle. 
but that looks pretty clean. I mean, again, that's pretty dang clean though. I mean, you won't really, all you'll see is just the extensions. Yeah. And it still fits very easily inside the, into the back. Yeah, that is very, you're very true. That it's very, there's lots of ways to skin it for sure. Okay. It's like this one didn't load all the way. There we go. Okay, guys. Now what we need to do is extensions and then kind of extensions, GPU, and we're done. Extensions. Uh, it's been a long time since I put when I have it's been a long time since I've actually put a three and a half inch drive inside of uh, inside of a build. I actually don't have a single. I don't have a single. Uh, I just realized I don't have a single um, SATA cable in this. I'm only gonna have three PSU cables. Put a spinning mirror ball in it. That would fix my anemics. Twenty. Uh, we still got guys. We need twenty subs, and we'll give away that NVMe drive. How are we doing likes on YouTube? Rump roast. I just like to say rump roast. Okay, Asia horse. There we go. Panda toy. This is very Stormtrooper build, for sure. Like a nice Funko Pop. There we go. Favorite build of 2023. I have to go back and look. I think it's, I don't think I've done it yet because I have some big custom water cool builds coming up. Um, and I have some custom, like some custom designed boards. The Deadpool one was cool because it was like all custom themed out. That was fun.
but I haven't done any like really fun water cooled or anything like that yet. The rest, a lot of what it's just showing new cases, which I mean are fun. They're fun, but they like they don't, they're not, they're not overly challenging, right? Um, oh, I will tell you my least favorite build of last year was the uh, Thermaltake AH. That AH case, man, that one. I like, like, I like the series and I like those, but man, that attack helicopter case. Oh no, guys. I just realized I should have plugged this in beforehand. Was brutal. Another case I'm not a huge fan of is the uh, Cougar Conquer 2. I like the Cougar Conquer. I got that other Cougar case I need to do. I should do a custom water build in that one. James, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, come on. Why is this being so painful? Come on, don't be painful. Thank you. Okay, last cable extension. See if I can get it in. Ugh. I'm gonna have to remove that to get to it. Ugh. Rookie mistake, Roby. Rookie mistake. Go to side view. And one thing I'm going to do, just to make this easy, is I'm gonna keep two screws in. I can slide, so I can just move the AIO. And that'll be fine. Move it out of the way. Oh, I have to plug it in that one. There we go. Fixed. Okay, let's put this one in and then we'll have all of our fan cable, fan ones in. Okay, fixed and fixed. AIO is done, cable extensions are ready. Now we just gotta figure out how to run this and then we'll be good. Okay, there we go. We still got this to put in. That's our last little bit of
This will just run along the side. That's the easiest thing here. And this will run right here. Okay, now, it's coming together, guys. Let's uh, go through the parts real quick for people who haven't seen them. Here's what we're using in today's build. It's a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, uh, uh, NZXT B650 N7 motherboard. This is their NZXT one. Uh, the Gigabyte Aero NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 in white. Uh, we've got the Kingston Fury DDR5 6000 mega transfer RAM, the Thermaltake Series 300, Thermaltake TH240 ARGB Snow, and then uh, we also have the Thermaltake Tough Power GFA3 850 watt PSU. So, guys, we're 100 subs away, 100 subs, away, 100 likes away from uh, locking that, uh, unlocking that $25 new gift card. Yeah, good, good components for sure. 32 gigs of RAM. Oh yeah, sorry about that. The RAM doesn't have the number. We'll get that in the, uh, the next one, 32 gigs. Go to top down. The most important thing is just to make sure that when we tighten this, is at a 90 degree angle. And then we're just making sure on the side, this is at, this is perpendicular. And so we want just a nice perpendicular and there we go. Okay, GPU, PSU, we're done. The song is, is getting me pumped up. Get us pumped up for it. Uh, I have not. We. Uh, I could ask for some. I don't know if it matters. Um, the twenty four forty eight. It hasn't. I haven't asked for them. It's not, you know, it's just, it hasn't been something I thought about. I mean, it's just, I know at least I would always do at least 32. So I think the closest I'd ever do is like, uh, uh, would be 48. But I have not done any of them now. Uh, Wiz. Okay, GPU time. Looks good. Time for that beautiful Aero GPU. Oh, it's a 4070 Ti, I'm sorry. We have the wrong card, guys. We're using the 4070 Ti. Now this actually has a sag bracket. Uh -huh. 
This goes on the back. I don't think this will actually work with this MOBO, now that I think about it. Because this MOBO... I'm trying to remember this, how this goes in there. Like this goes on and then it like connects on two. Yeah, I don't think this will work on this MOBO. I don't know, let's see if it sags. And then we'll go, we'll go from there. Yeah, because this uses the, this uses, oh, that's right, it goes above. But because of this right here, we're not gonna be able to get this second peg. Because it goes off of this peg and this peg. I'm pretty sure, right? No, maybe not. Maybe it goes like this. See if I can find. Hold on one second. I'm gonna see how to do how to do the install. I've never done the install. I'm gonna see if we can do it. You can add ex these are the parts and we recommend that you lay Okay, here's working the angle. Okay, so you remove the two there and you install the Okay, so it actually goes like this. Goes like this. Okay, well we can do that. Cause I think it's gonna sag, guys. I just, I have a feeling. So let's do it right. Let's put the, put the, do it. Let's do it, all right, we, I'll skip, I'll skip the, keep, keep the GPU from sagging. Nobody wants a saggy GPU. Go. No, oh, don't do this to me. Let me just just install correctly, please. Oh no. Oh, crud. Guys, the worst thing ever has happened. Actually, that looks like it's okay. Okay, cool. I think it's just, wait, wait, hold on. Let me see how many of these screws I have. 
Okay, I'm good. Okay. I thought the I thought I got the Okay, now, let's finish watching this. Okay, that goes in. Okay, so then now this, GPUs don't usually take this long, but when you're doing sag brackets, and I really like these sag brackets because they do a good job of holding in the GPU, holding up the GPU. Okay, so that would get that. Okay, so now the GPU is built. Just watch how to put this in there. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. I don't need any of this anymore. good here. It's dropping all sorts of stuff, guys. Okay. Now it's time to finish this build. Okay, here we go. Put this in. Make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, this just takes some, this is just about seeing how it works first and then after that it's like oh okay i get it but i think this sag bracket will work way better than the msi one i really like these these sag brackets do a good job of holding the cards up
go. There we go. We just gotta take this one. There we go, and that holds it up. Nice, I like that, that's good, that's, that's really cool. And then now this card won't sag. Pretty ingenious, actually. All right, now let's run our easy DIY cable. And then we're gonna be able to put in our PSU and then we'll be done. Run our Storyblocks sponsor and then we'll uh, do our little, our little song and dance and then we'll turn it on. Hold on one sec, guys. It's my daughter. Sorry, they're school. They're school shopping. They're school supply shopping. So it's just a little. I gotta fix something for them. Why is this like, man? This is like not. There we go. Add a song and dance. There we go. It'd be nice if we could, if we, we'd have to have like a custom, we'd have to have like a custom song written. Because I'd probably do celebration. Do, 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 do. You know, celebrate good times. Come on. It's a celebration. It's just a good song for when you finish a PC build. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate good times. Come on. Oh, it's good. <clears throat>
Okay, cool. Now, that looks really clean. Don't you guys think? Looks nice. Okay, let's put in the last bit, guys. Ooh, that sounded good. This is it. It's time for the, it's time for the PSU. There's only three cables needed for this. I'm a huge fan of these PSUs now. So we only need our our 16 pin, 1 8 pin, and that's it. 1 16 pin, 1 8 pin, and then our 24 pin. What is, uh, what are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Almost 400 people here now. And guy, whoa, why did our, why did our, our drive thing drop? It was 30 and then it went, I mean, it was 30 and it went down by seven. That doesn't make any sense. We have one kick sub. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so what I need here is 171, guys. Remember, 200. Let's get those last likes. You're welcome, clickbait. There's that one. No, I don't want that one. I want CPO. Oh, did they do the split one? That's right, they did the split one. that see how this new PSU smells Ooh. oh that one's stinky <laughs> that was not a pleasant smell guys I didn't think that was gonna be that bad I went a little too uh, aggressive on the smell there a little too aggressive on the uh, on the old snifferoo You're very welcome, Count to it. I'm very glad that I was helping you relax. That's the whole point, man. Just to chill. Build some PCs, have a good time. Let's uh let's direct link the YouTube so we can get these last likes taken care of, guys. We're only we don't need that. We we're close. Let's uh let's link that let's link that YouTube. Let's get those last likes knocked out so we can uh, we can do that giveaway. Right now we have no giveaways unlocked. Thanks, Cacho Podcast, man. I appreciate that. Ugh.
Thank you, Dempy. Okay, we need our CPU. Need our 24 pin, and then that's it. And then with 16 pin, and we're done. There we go, guys. But it's in. Okay. Go to side view, get our screws in. Okay, PSU is done. We are almost finished, guys. The last cables to get plugged in for this beautiful build. Let's go top down. Sixteen pin extension. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to get this lower. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys, there's our bill finished. And there it is, cable managed and clean and ready to go. Okay, so now all we gotta do is pop the back on.
Thank you for subscribing, Pro Gamer. There we go. Let's pop the top in. Slide the bottom back on. There we go. And now all we have left is the front. And there we go, guys. Build, let's just see how our build looks from the front. That looks good. Guys, that looks very good. That is a very pretty build. Okay, let us do our little sponsor bits, and then we will call it. But let's count our zip ties real quick. Let's count our zip ties real quick. Odd or even, that's what we're counting right now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five. There's fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, there's 20. One, two, three, four, five, there's 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, guys. It is even today, 30. 30 is the magic number, 30. No, they're 140 millimeter fans. It is even today, guys. Edge, thank you very much for the sub. Seven months, man. Ugh. Why does our number keep going down? There must be, it like, it was like 27. Is there, is there one of them that's not, Static has it? gonna see something it usually means like one of them doesn't have a didn't we have 30 20 yeah so that's all like yeah it's all good I don't know what's going on here let me see what the this the setting says let me see what the 31 okay I'm gonna fix this guys I don't know what's going on
There we go. Ugh. Ooh, Zero E joined VIP, huh? Okay, guys, we have to do our, just our little bit of sponsorship stuff. Which is great. And then we'll turn it on and benchmark it. It looks good though. It looks very good. set up here. Sorry. Okay. All right, so. Oh, I, I was like, wait a minute. You guys can't see it. I was like, no wonder you guys are, where's the problem? How did that get all twisted? Impressive, impressive guys, impressive. Okay. So, uh, I want to tell you guys a little bit about something called storyblocks.com. They are today's sponsor for today's stream. So if you are a content creator or if you are a streamer, one of the things that sometimes you, and you may be used to this, is that you'll go and look for either stock footage, stock animations, uh, add-ins, uh, templates, etc. And then what you do is you basically have to pay like a per clip fee for one of those kind of things. And that could be music as well. So like for instance, we're listening to music right now. This is all royalty free music that I get as part of a subscription to something like Storyblocks. So Storyblocks, what it is is essentially a single place to get all of those things, 4K assets, etc., at one low subscription price. And again, where this becomes so useful is for when you are making content, like what you're doing there. And that can be streaming, that can be YouTube videos, that can be TikToks, that can be Instagram Reels, etc. Something like this just elevates the overall quality of your streams. For instance, when you look at my parts layouts, you're seeing all these animations, etc., that are showing up as part of my parts layouts. Those are things that we get from stuff like storyblocks.com. And what I do is if you go over here and you look at stock media, animated backgrounds, here we are at technology, click on technology, and then you can look at science, and then you can see I have a bunch of animated backgrounds that we can then throw into our, uh, behind our cases, behind our um, parts list, etc. The other thing too that's also super cool is like, for instance, you wanted to add like, you are doing, uh, you were just starting a streaming and you wanted to have like an explosion that happened every time you got a sub. Well, here you can download things like, for instance, 
green screen explosions that are just over Isaac. Every time it's like, subscriber, whatever it was. And then the last thing that's super cool is like I said, it also has all this royalty free music. So if you wanna have happy, epic, if you're like, if you're like Blondie and you wanna have depressing and scary, that's on here too. So again, a great option as any kind of content creator to basically play a single low price. That. Could you try again? You can get a single low price to be able to download and use stock footage, either for audio, Adobe, uh, templates, or even other things. Uh, again, all you have to do is go to storyblocks.com slash RobyTech to check it out. Hit exclamation point Storyblocks here in the Twitch chat, or head down to the panel down below for your chance to get started and to start saving money and elevate your overall game for content creation. So yeah. Yeah, she's the glue that holds things together, but she's also listens to a lot of depressing music. So for instance, if we wanted to, we could get this one that's like blues, country, folk, you know what I mean? So lots of options here for even somebody like Blondie, you know what I'm saying? All right, so anyway, check it out, storyblocks.com. Uh, appreciate them sponsoring today's stream. By using fear, yeah, fear, see, there we go. Dark, right there, dark. This is what you do. This is the playlist for Blondie but Geeky right here. Uh, this dark playlist, dark secrets, long after dark, chasing a criminal, shooting your, shooting your, your uh, party member. It's all in there, right here. Um, okay, another thing I want to tell you about is uh, if you get finished uh, with building a build like this and you need to pick up a copy of Windows, the other option we also have is VIP slash CDKDeals.com. I always like to talk about this site because a lot of times you get finished with a uh, doing an install and you're like, oh, I want to put Windows on it, but I've spent all my money on PC parts. Oh no, Roby, what do I do? Well, the cool thing is, is that with VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you just go here. Here, for instance, instead of paying $150, $200 for a copy of Windows, you can pick up, uh, here's Windows 10 Pro, which then you can upgrade to Windows 11 without a problem. It's $23.09, but if you go here and then you hit buy now, and then you use code RBCK at checkout, what was $23.09 uh, drops down to, check it out, RBCK, hit apply, and it drops down to a whopping $16.16. .16. So a lot of people say like, Roby, you know, is this legit? Absolutely legit. Literally thousands of people within my chat have used these, this site for getting Windows. Tons of people continue to do so, and it's a great place to download Windows. The other thing that you can also do, and again, same, same thing, we're going into new, a new school year, download Office 2021. You don't have to necessarily then, you don't necessarily have to pay for per fee subscriptions. You can just download it here. Again, use RBCK, drops it from 75, 76, right down into the $50. So that is VIP slash For anybody who's basically finishing a PC build, it's just kind of a must have uh, for uh, saving money on your Windows installations uh, and anything else that you wanna do. Uh, last thing I want to do is uh, tell you guys a little bit about, uh, if, especially if you're new to the community and you're getting into RobyTech and what's going on, is we have RobyTech.com. This is a great destination to find a ton of different things. First and foremost, you might want to have me build a PC right here on the stream. Well, if you come here and you can email me, uh, if you are a Discord sub or a Twitch sub, then you, uh, your commission drops from 15% to 10%, um, and then you can have me build a PC right here on stream. The other thing we have in here is we have a list of all the builds that we've built. So you can go to, over to robytech.com slash builds, and here is our Thermaltake build, and then right above it, uh, or right below it when we're finished, you'll actually find the actual stream as well. So here's, for instance, the build that we just did on Tuesday. So a great place to go and find builds that you may have liked and be like, oh, I need to go and build those. I wanna build that same PC. There's the parts and then the live stream that you can follow along with. Uh, the other thing that we have on here is that's brand new is we have reviews. So now not only do our regular reviews come in here, but now they also show up in written form. So if you're on the toilet, or you know, basically sitting by the pool like Blondie does and you just can't get enough of Robitech, you can head over to robitech.com slash reviews and check out our reviews on like the Lenovo Yoga and the IQ link that's launching just like next week. Uh, and then uh, we also have the Robitech Insider, which many of you are subscribed to. This just basically is your information on everything that's been happening, a recap of QuakeCon, uh, basically all of the streams that happened this week, uh, what's coming up, and then also any giveaways, like for instance, this Xenion Flex giveaway. So it's a great way to get in on all the giveaways that we're having and make sure that you're up to date on everything from Robitech. Okay, so let's talk about deals, because we have these here too, and we like to talk about fine deals that Tom finds for every stream. So starting off right here, 
Uh, Logitech G730, G733 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Headset with suspension headband, guys. Uh, it's got LightSync RGB, Blue Voice Mic Technology on sale, $35 off for $114.99. You can use that promo code right there if you want to. I've never used these before, so I don't know if they're any good. The Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Uh, we, if we got 200 subs, we'd be giving one of these away. Uh, it's a 7000 series, 8 core, 16 thread, 120 watt. We just now got finished building with it. Uh, it's right now, it's on sale, $384. Uh, and you get Starfield if you were to pick, uh, you were actually able to pick one of these up right now. The Asus Tough Gaming, this is an Intel Core i7 with 16 gigs and an RTX 4070, one terabyte SSD for, wow, a thousand bucks. Wow, 4070 and a third, and, an, and a Core i7 for a thousand dollars. That is a, that is a crazy deal. Wow, that's bonkers. Okay, that's, that's, wait, that's nuts. Yeah, exactly, count to it. $1,000 for that laptop is nuts at Best Buy. And we'll see if it's available right now. Yeah, dude, $9.99. If you, have, if you need a laptop, this is a heck of a deal. Go buy this now. Wow, that's nuts. That's a really good deal. Okay. Um, uh, Surface Pro 9, 13-inch touchscreen with an Intel Evo. I love these laptops. 16 gigs, 256 SSD. Uh, $400 off, it's so weird. It's like $1,199 or you can go get this Core i7 with 16 gigs of RAM and a 4070 for $999. I'd go buy the tough. Uh, Ryzen 9 7900X, a B650E motherboard, uh, and G School uh, DDR5 6000, 549. Wow, that's, and this is online and in store. So that's a great deal for if you wanna do an AMD build. And then a five port router, if you need one, $1,799. Wow, Tom, I gotta say, let me know about this because that is a, I should retweet that. Did you already tweet me that? Because that's a really good deal. Um, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, if uh, the this in the in the Ryzen 9 at Micro Center, that's a, those are both amazing deals. So if you haven't done those, you should go check it out. You have to go in store, oh, for the tough? Oh, you have to go in store, okay. So you have to go in store, you can't order it online. No wonder that, okay. But still, that's still a really dang good deal. Okay guys, anyways, uh, that is it for deals. Good job, Tom, uh, for finding that. That's yeah, worth going to the store. Go to go get it and uh, get in on it if you, uh, if you wanna get on that deal. Let's get this PC started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. That song is the best. You guys are so impressed how good that song was. Just bringing smiles to the masses. Um, okay, let's move this over and get this on. Cause that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants to see the build. Okay, let's drop this in here. Okay, so will it post? Hopefully that question has already been asked. I'm pretty sure it probably has. And then we'll get everything ready for the uh, Getting it all prepped here for the... This is getting, this is like, what is going on here? This is not supposed to be. Find out what's going on here with this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh wait, I'm gonna get this ready for the, okay, cool. Let's get this moved over and ready for the boot. Ugh. There it is.
Will it post is the question. I only want that one in for now. Okay, here we go. I think we're all, oh no, we're, the prediction's not quite done yet. And then a stretch, okay. Oh. I think my stretch sounds make it better. Yeah, likes are free, guys. Get the likes, do. Get the likes in. Are the likes in? Ugh. We get the likes in. How many likes are we at on YouTube? Okay, predictions done. Two oh, come on. We need forty-three more. Just hit that like. We only need uh, twenty-nine subs to give away a uh, NVMe drive. Oh, the light's on. That's a good sign. Ooh, that is bright and beautiful. That looks really good. Guys, that is, uh, that's stunning. Uh, we gotta put the, we gotta, we gotta install this so we get the, uh, right now it says the liquid is negative 30 degrees Celsius. I don't think that's right. That is a pretty build. Just waiting for the uh, waiting for the uh, the post here. It's going through the post codes. Oh 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 oh! Whoa whoa whoa! What happened? Oh no! Hit the wrong button. Go back to here. Gosh darn it, why are you not letting me record? There you go. And we are posted, guys. There it is right there, posted. There it is, posted and ready to go. We're just waiting for the, oh, it was there for a second. It's coming back, there it is. It's coming back, there it is, posted and ready to go. And ready to do start doing our, our testing and all that stuff. S-Dog, thank you for the resub. Prediction is posted. Okay, cool. Let's throw in our other connection and we're going to do the peel. Okay, here we go. Let's get our peel done. Got to make sure it's appealing. There we go. Oh, for a second there, I was like, I thought the rear fan wasn't spinning. I was like, wait, what's going on? But it's fun. It's spinning fine. Here we go. Boom. Peeled and ready to go for the next, the next phase of this stream which is testing. Let's see how this build does. Whoa, okay, let's not ruin our, let's not ruin our, our build at the same time. There we go. What do you guys think? Looks good? There we go. So let's go all white. We do this. 
I'll go all white here. Let me throw this over here. Let's go to duplicate, keep. Let's go to 1440, keep. Go to 125. All right, now we're gonna download Kingston Fury RGB. Get in the App Store. Let's make the fear the RAM white and then we'll be good to go. Okay, we want static. I feel like I'm doing this the worst way possible, but I'm not sure. But I'm I'm already in, I'm already I'm already in, I'm already committed. There probably is, but I'm just dumb. There we go. And then we're gonna turn it down a little bit. A little bit more. There we go, that's, that's good. That looks really good. There's the side right there. The last thing we gotta fix is this panel. GT RGB plus two. Okay, here we go. It does, but it's not, it doesn't work very well with RAM. We've used Kingston Fury with boards before and the RGB Fury for this works better. Poly, it's uh, honestly, like there's just a lot of issues with the uh, boards, but it's just, this is the, the best way to do it. But it does have, like I could change all the fan colors and stuff like that if I wanted to. Two nineteen, guys. We need thirty more likes. Go hit that like. Oh, this is like the slowest download ever. Let's extract all here.
Yeah, like Kingston works very well with most of the stuff. It's just that one. I mean, there, there. It's just this one doesn't. You need when you need your independent lighting control. That's what this is for. You are right. That was faster than 56k. Okay, it's updating again. I guess I should install cam because we have to worry about cooling. I, I just, I've been hydrating like mad. Another hydrate. Oh, Pillsbury, it's okay. I appreciate you trying to, to hook us up. It is Araxness. It is good for the body. That is a good point. I have read confirm. I didn't I didn't read it. Oh, the firmware is updating. Oh, interesting. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, the guy doer, that's what I do. I always drink my water out of the toilet. That's like the best thing to do. I feel like that's what you should do every time. Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. Okay, it should be right now. Yep, oh, ho, ho, ho. it's there guys, it's there. Okay, let's do the visual color, make it white. There we go. There we go, now we got the, the nice little controls there. Okay, so that's loaded. Okay, so everything here looks good. Let's go ahead and do our, let's see our, okay, let's see how our, our performance is. Let's run this. Okay, so going to capture. Okay, here's our core temperatures. Everything's looking nice. Let's open Cinebench. Here we go. File, advanced, 10 minute start. Let's see how this does. Like it's gonna stay around 80. It's dang quiet. Wait, why did the lights go off? And the lights off. All the lights went out, what the deuce? Uh, hello. Where'd my lights go? Still sitting at 81. Might have to restart here. I'm not seeing any of the stuff here. The firmware update. I wonder if I got to restart. We'll fix that here in a minute. Yeah. 
Yeah, power diverted. Yeah, power diverted to the Voodoo 3D effects. But yeah, look at that. Temps are great. No problem. Yeah, the temps are fine. It won't be anywhere near this when it games. We'll give it a couple more minutes. Guys, we're getting closer on the likes. Let's get it, let's knock him out. Yeah, this does not get loud at all. Guys, we need uh, 28 more subs to unlock a, a giveaway. And then we need to get that 250 at least. We haven't even done a hype train. We haven't done any of this stuff today. Okay, well, there we go, guys. No problem. Temperatures are fine. I'm going to reboot this and see if uh, the lights come on. Because the lights went out. I don't know why. It was so pretty. It was so pretty. You little red eye. I don't understand why all the lighting went. There it goes. Okay, lighting's back. No, the lighting went off again. I wonder if it's the Fury stuff that's causing it to, well, no. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, fan. Save. So it's still, it's, it's one customer, whoa, whoa.
Okay, so that 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 turned on. Why did the now the it's the top the AI the AIO is not turning on. Oh, that one. Okay, this one must be something else. Uh, Uh, AIO. Why is it not turning on? Does this turn this off? Okay, that turns that off. Okay, that turned that on. Okay, good. Everything's on again. Yay! Okay, right, we're we're back to lit. It's lit, yo. I just gotta line the thermal take and then we can, okay, so then we can do gaming. Okay, good. Okay, everything's loaded. Yay, we got it all lit. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's check out some, uh, let's check out some games. Okay, cool. Let's open up Steam. MSI Afterburner. Armor Core 6, guys. I'm getting stoked. Library. Uh, let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, exactly, Araxis. You have to fix the RGB. How we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Let's link the uh, video one more time. There it is, right there. Go get, go give it a thumbs up for that last bit, guys. Okay, we are in the game. Oops, that's not what we wanted. Settings. Okay, so let's start with the ray tracing ultra turning. Let's just do off. We're gonna just do raw right now. This is 2560, V-Sync is off. So this is raw, no ray tracing, just raw, 1440p um, cyberpunk. This is real. The Roba Doba Robotech and Company. Nice. I like it, Dorian. That seems pretty painless. Nice and nice, good speed. It's 40s to 50s there, 47.14. Let's go and throw the DLSS in there though, because you should. Running it at balanced. So here we are. DLSS running it balanced, and then we'll do it with uh, we'll do it with um, frame generation, and then we'll jump over to another game. Don't forget to hit those likes on YouTube, guys. We're just trying to nail it and get it finished out so we can give that away. And if anybody wants to drop... Thanks, Dorian. Two thirty-five, guys. Almost done. Okay, 100 and what, 106, 107 frames per second. This is where you can see that little bit from the X3D. 96. K 
Okay, let's drop up to frame generation to get the last bit. Hit run benchmark. Sixteen subs, eighteen subs away from that you that giveaway, guys. Yeah, the temps are great. Fifty in the fifties. The you guys can hear. There's like no sound. There we go, guys. Okay, so that is all of Cyberpunk 2077. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, Let's check out, you guys want to do Hogwarts? Let's do COD. COD COD's like the, always the, the good one to go to from there. Let's throw Call of Duty in there. Guys, those are good Those are good 1440p numbers. We like to show you all of the data. Thermals are great. The gameplay is going to be great. Uh, I don't have Last of Us on here. That one takes so long for the the freaking shaders to render. Yep. Okay, let's throw settings, graphics. We're gonna go to quality, go to basic, display, go to unlimited, go to 165, apply. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go to multiplayer. There it is. Okay, just waiting for benchmarks to get done. I mean, the optimization. Guys, we only need 11 more likes. And I wanna let people know, here's a couple things, guys. Do not forget, you see, we have this couple things just to, because I know we're close in terms of uh, unlocking that NVMe drive. We are giving away a 4070 Ti system. It's a special edition Spider-Man custom themed 4070 Ti. I'm gonna stretch for Bernie really quick. If you want to get in on that, we're going to be drawing the winner for that in just under 13 days. And it's to subscribers either on Twitch, Kick, or Discord. So if you are looking for a new PC, you could drop your free Amazon Prime sub and be entered to win that giveaway. And then if you subscribe to Tier 1, you get three entries. To Tier 2, you get 10. Tier 3, you get, or sorry, Tier 2, you get 5. Tier 3, you get 10. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. Guys, it is a it's a custom one of one. We'll have a link to the YouTube video where you can go check it out. 
Um, it's a great chance to win an amazing PC, and all it takes is your Prime sub, which is free, and then you can also maybe even unlock another giveaway for everybody else. So uh, just go and drop that, and then you're good to go. That's where your Prime subs end up being super useful here. Also, it drops, subs also drop your cost of your commissions if you want to get a PC built, uh, as well as give you extra entries to all the other giveaways, including the PC giveaways that are going to be happening on Sunday, on Tuesday, and on Thursday. So doing a sub makes a lot of sense because you also will be getting better subs. Uh, you also get better odds for those PC giveaways and all of these things we're going to be giving away with Cooler Master uh, when that happens Thursday next week. So it's it's just it's smart sense i mean for your chance to get and win a bunch of stuff as well and then discord over at discord.gg slash we're going to be giving away some of my old hardware like a white arrow 3060 all that sort of stuff and then as well as uh as well as exclusive like intel and uh intel and amd swag so if you want to get on that head over to discord.gg slash join the discord sub club and you get a chance to win some incredible stuff like totes or uh, chippies or uh, old hardware, etc. So um, it's another opportunity to win some pretty incredible things as well. So head on over, do that. Burger, Berg Breezer, thank you very much for the sub. And remember, if we get enough of those guys, we can do another prime. We can do a, we can earn another one with a, a level five hype train as well. But worth, worth doing, I'm just saying. Okay, here we go. Let's try this benchmark. So this is just this is just basic raw gameplay first. 1440p, lowest uh, lowest um, basically lowest uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, latency. Which I mean it's 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 much better now. So hey, moist bagel 24. Thank you for the prime sub. Two more, and we'll start a hype train, guys. Bernie, you gonna take a drink? Two more subs, and we'll start a hype train, guys. Only 15 subs away from a giveaway. And remember, gifted subs, every gifted sub is an extra entry on that PC giveaway. I just drank, by the way, uh, Blondie. Okay, so first, and guys, this game loves 3D V-Cache. So you guys are gonna see some nice high frame rates on the 3D V-Cache, just raw versions. There you go, 190 frames per second. And this does not have DLSS, nothing whack at all. You got 190 frames per second on this build. Let's go ahead and go to start. Let's go to graphics. Now we're gonna throw in, we're just gonna try and get it faster. So we'll go DLSS, we'll go balance, hit apply settings. So this is just to get it even faster. Again, if you're going for 240 plus frames per second, this would be the setting you use. Again, most people, this is gonna be better for you than having the latency difference. Moist, you'll know the neck, the PC give, oh, if you win the Spider-Man one, we'll let you know. One more and a hype train super close. We need one more sub and then we'll hi and we'll have a hype train, which unlocks another giveaway if we get to level five or 200 bits, 300 bits does it too. Fifty seconds, somebody could be the hero. You could be the hero, baby. Hey, T. Scott, thank you very much for the sub. And there it is, guys. We are officially in Hype Train. Two hundred and sixty frames per second, literally almost a hundred frame jump. 
just by adding DLSS. So again, great build if you want to play some Call of Duty. That'll be the same way for games like uh, Fallout, or sorry, um, for um, Fortnite, etc. as well. So you can take away the pain. You can take my breath away. Okay, uh, so we've done Cyberpunk, Call of Duty. Let's uh, let's get some fun in here. Let's throw some Flight Sim. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Level two, guys, let's do it. BBH dropping a bit. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Roby Iglesias in the house, that's right. You will take my breath away. Fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle. Let my freedom set her free. <clears throat> uh, Kylo, at this point in time with, with uh, the support ending, Windows 11 is way better. Three minutes, guys. We can get some. We can get some. Uh, we, can we get another thirteen subs, and that's giveaways. And we need three more likes. That's it. We're so close on so many giveaways. We could just unlock them. Somebody could be the hero. Unlock some giveaways, and whoa. I might need to reinstall the driver. Try one more time. That happens with the Windows driver. There's the YouTube goal. Andreas dro Ander dropping 100 bits, trying to get us a little bit closer. So we've hit our YouTube goal. Yeah, it was like those last two were like super, super slow. Okay, let's see if this makes it. One minute, 45, see if we can get to level five. We could do it. And thank you again for everybody who has sub, donated, all that sort of stuff. We really do appreciate it. Nope, I'm gonna install, I'm gonna reinstall the driver. Because we, I changed to, this sometimes happen. Windows XP V2. It's, uh, Orga, I don't, I mean, it, it's usually just doing this is fine. I could install DDU, but that's just a giant pain in the butt, so. Most, if this doesn't work, then we'll do DDU. That's the rumors Windows 12 is going to be soon. Well, thank you very much for getting to a hype train, guys. I appreciate that. Even though we weren't able to do anything, I still appreciate you getting there. Six seconds. Ugh. Yeah, I expect it to be pretty buggy. It usually always is. Uh, 
Okay, restart, and then we'll try this again. Uh, PVP, they're both good. It, there's not really a better, I mean, it, DLSS is gonna be better. I've noticed issues with frame generation in Diablo 4 though, but I mean like DLSS is, I mean, it's an NVIDIA title, so it, obviously it's going to perform better with NVIDIA, but they're both actually really good. Okay, here we go. Let's get our temps up on our thermal take thing and then we'll be good. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's load Steam and try this one more time. Yeah, there's always new architecture changes that they have to implement. Oh, crud, I hope that, oh man. How much of that stuff did not record? Ugh. See if this works now. It looks like it's past it. Wow. Uh, let me just try, let me just try Harry Pogwarts Legacy and then we'll go from there. It's not, it's definitely not a GPU. It's, oh, let's load this. It's definitely not a GPU overheat issue. Most of the time, I mean, it was running before, but we did, like, we did switch drivers. I mean, switch GPUs. It was in a 40, I used a 4070FE to bench it. Okay, just waiting for shaders. Ugh.
Why does this keep getting all jacked up? It doesn't make any sense. Waiting for shaders. Okay, so we'll do his, and then we'll check our settings and all that sort of stuff. Uh, settings. Okay, so we're at ultra with ray tracing off right now. Oh, wow, they have a... Let's change ray trace reflections on, ray tracing shadows on, ray tracing on. And then we have apply. Let's go to here. Oops, no, 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 no. Settings. Okay, we'll change it to DLSS. Well, actually, let's just turn it off for now, none. And then we'll run it just raw. Okay. So I gotta restart the game. Oops, I'm being dumb. Settings. We're gonna restart, exit game, and then we'll... It's been 80,631 minutes, 16 seconds of the last save. FSR3 is uh, the frame generation for uh, AMD. Roby messaged Tom about an even better laptop on sale at Best Buy. 989 30 70 Ti, one ter Wow, is it, is it just, um... <laughs> is it, uh, is it just, um, is it in-store only or can you order it? Count to it. Okay, now we have ray tracing on, guys. I don't know if Tom's still on. Did Tom leave? Can we get more subs? Oh no, we just have 13 still left. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's try this one more time. One more time. We're gonna celebrate. Okay, now we should have, now we, okay, so now ray tracing. This is ray tracing raw, just so you know. So j again, checking here, we got ray tracing on, no DLSS, this is raw, raw, raw Hogwarts. It's raw. This is 65 frames per second at 1440p with ray tracing on max and everything just set to max.
You're going to see some tearing because we don't have V-Sync on. So again, around 60 FPS. Okay, let's check. Let's do this again now. Now we're gonna go to, let's throw DLSS on. Oops. doesn't work the way I thought it would. Oh, sorry. DLSS. Okay, there we go. And we're going to change it on to balanced. And we're going to hit apply. Let's make sure it's set. Okay, there we go. So this is DLSS on balanced. We've now jumped to 90, so we've gotten 30 more frames per second much smoother. There are 71 frames per second for Hogwarts. Okay, let's go to the last one. Because this is something that you have in this game. Turn on frame generation. And the reason I run around Hogsmeade is just Hogsmeade's probably one of the most aggressive areas in terms of VRAM and everything else. I mean, you're looking at 10 gigs of VRAM being used right now. Hundred and thirty frames per second, ten gigs of VRAM. CPU and GPU temps are great, and the game is running beautifully. So there you go. So that's it, guys. That's the full meal deal. That's the full meal deal of today's build. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We got everything kind of built and ready and in. And the, I think that this is a very, very impressive build for um, 1440p, 1080p gaming, sub $2,200. It looks pretty, right? It's a, it's a beautiful looking build. If you wanted to save some money, I'll be honest, if you wanted to save some money, you could forgo the uh, NZXT MOBO and go to the B650E Edge uh, Wi-Fi from MSI, a great alternative. There's just something about that all white, um, that all white sh uh, shell that the NZXT uh, board comes with. Um, not sure what's going on with, uh, with Flight Sim, sorry, it's just generally an issue and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time trying to troubleshoot it right now. If I did DDU, that just takes more time than I, I really honestly wanna spend right now. Um, cause I do, I am going to go ahead and lube and, uh, lube, lube up some, uh, keycaps and stuff like that in preparation for tomorrow's, uh, stream, uh, tomorrow's, uh, Intel morning show. Um, anyway, guys, uh, let's see, what did we get accomplished? We played some Baldur's Gate. Uh, we then built an entire PC, uh, got it benchmarked, got it installed, got everything good to go and all that sort of stuff too. Um, so it came out of, yeah, lube, uh, lube, uh, basically do some lubing on, uh, the uh, in preparation so I can make sure that tomorrow the, the entire keyboard bit gets built. Sorry, lube switches, my bad, not keycaps. I'm gonna lube the switches, not the keycaps. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's the stream. If you guys wanna stick around, I'm gonna sit here for about half an hour and you guys can sit and watch. I'm just gonna lube some switches, um, but you guys don't have to stick around. That's what I'm gonna work on now. So I'm gonna start doing that and getting this build, this thing done. So I figured spend another half hour 
see how far I get and let me know how many I'm going to get done. So you guys can stick around for some keyboard building if you want. Up to you. Oh, I'll do the giveaway right now. Yeah, sorry. We have one $25 new gift card. Oh, it's probably, yeah, it's sometimes it's because of the, we, it's, it's got an open uh, focal point right now because you don't have somebody who basically clicks on it all the time. Uh, that always ends up being an issue. I am going to hit stop on the record though, because we're not going to record this in there. Well, I'll do the $25 new gift card now. Do, 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 do. Stop this. There we go. Uh, do, 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 what am I looking for? I'm looking for giveaways. All widgets, CloudBot. So $25 Newegg gift card up for grabs. Exclamation point Newegg now, starting right now. One gift card up for grabs. Starting now, guys. I, gonna, I think I have more. I think I, there's more switches in here. I need to grab the keycaps though. I'm gonna have to. I think I have the other set of lynxes. There's the caps. Oh, there they're right there. Okay, these, these are, I think I have to. <clears throat> 40 seconds, guys. Congratulations to May May Akins. May Akins, you are the winner of the uh, of the twenty five dollar new gift card. Congratulations. Okay, uh, YouTubers, appreciate you hanging out. I'm gonna say good night to you now. Congratulations, May. Uh, make sure you reach out. YouTube, thank you very much for hanging out. We will see you guys on the next episode, which will be on Friday uh, Thursday. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys as soon as I find. Restream, it's not up here right now. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, Twitch, if you want to stick around, I'm gonna work on, Twitch and Kick, if you want to stick around, I'm gonna work on keyboards. <laughs>